liver one, I look like crap, but that's besides the point. Today is October 29th. Um, yesterday was a big day, um, to say the least. I'm going to go into a few things in this video because, um, because I can, first off, but second of all, this video is going to be going up so much later than anything else. I mean, right now, this is going to finish out my three weeks ahead, and then I still have more videos that I know I'm going to be shooting in like a week, so, and not even a week. Sorry, I'm so low energy. I did not get good sleep last night, um, but I, am, I do want to make this video, and I wanted to make it yesterday. I just ran out of time before um, I left, <clears throat> so I think it was the previous video. Um... It could have been two videos ago. might have been three videos ago. I really don't know the schedule right now. I just put them up and that's it. Um, but we, yesterday, Saturday, we, I got a message that morning from somebody and he said that, he didn't word it right, but he was, he said, I can help you on the Cayuga price if you, if you need. So I messaged him and I was like, yeah, I, I don't know how much I'm going to sell them for. I was thinking 40 if, if that's, um, but I'm not sure if that's too high or too low. And then he messaged me back and he said, can you do 35? And I'm like, oh, you're looking to get these. And I was like, sure, I'll do 35 for them. And he, he, or he said, if I pick them up today, can you do 35? And I said, yeah. I'll do that. Whatever. I just, I wanted them to go to a good home and everything. Um, so, they started out fine. I was recording with Reagan, and we're getting ready to start recording with Reagan. My grandma called me. I won't go into what was said, but my grandma called me. Pretty important. About 30 minutes, th 45 minutes later, my mom got home. I heard her yelling inside for me, knocking on the door. She still didn't get it, obviously. Um, but we finished filming, and I walked around the house. And I was like, I'm right here, Mom. <laughs> I was outside filming. Everything good. And I kind of had the suspicion when my grandma called me, because I piece things together fairly quickly. <laughs> Some things fairly quickly. Um, I... My cousin's mom passed away Friday, and that has been a really big thing. I have cried a lot, so I don't... If I cry here, I cry here. If I don't, it's not because I'm not sad. It's because I have cried so much, and I'm running on such little sleep. I know a lot of people are, but that has been a big thing. Um... I know my mom's been hit pretty hard with it because they were friends. Um, they, when they were a few years ago, they co-parented, really. I mean, with my dad going to work and my mom and my cousin going to work, or her husband, they would, they co-parented. And it was, um, it was just convenient for them. They were both new to parenting and having somebody else there helped. Um, that's memories that I'll have forever. Um, movies, the zoo, the park, going to, um, I think it's Michael's to do, like, the little craft days on, I think, Tuesday or Wednesday, things like that that are just fun. Um, it's becoming a running joke now that I have to get these chickens up. But, yeah, it, things like that that are just fun. Um... I'm always going to remember those times, and she had cancer, I don't know if I said that. She's been dealing with cancer for, since the beginning of the year, I think, and it just, we thought she was going to make it, and then uh, last Sunday, so a week from today, they found out that it's terminal. 
that it was terminal and that she had a few weeks to live or a few months, however long. Uh, I don't know the full thing. I think it was two or three months, though. Um, and we, I mean, we didn't know what that was like. We didn't know what was happening. We did not know that. Um, but her family did. Um, and yeah, Friday she passed away and that was really hard right before I had, that was like 10... 45 or 1050 that I figured that out or that I that my mom told me so that was upsetting um, incredibly I had to hold it together because I was trying to I had we had to be at Tractor Supply at 11 to meet these people car right down there I broke down there so I had to get the ducks first but car right down there I broke down um so that was a big thing. Um, so my heart is with them forever, and um, you don't expect people to go, and especially somebody who is someone you know like that. And, I mean, she was still young. I mean, I think she was 34 or something like that. Like, she was not that old at all. And it's heartbreaking. But she is lived on by her two kids, my cousins. And her mom and her family and all of them. And I have so many good memories that I'm never going to forget with all of us together um because doing that's not right forgetting is not right and that's just where i'm at on it um so i have well i'll do this but i have a special little announcement at the end of this video um so we got there got the ducks the guy was in a truck he just had a cage in the back of his truck and I was like, okay, we're gonna go in there, and which I didn't mind, um, but that's what he did, and they got put in. I put them in there because they didn't know me, obviously, um, and it was it was heartbreaking um, to have to put them in there because I've said this before. It felt like I was giving up on them, and I know I shouldn't feel like that because. I know deep down that it is a good decision, um, so I can't beat myself up about that. Um, but I remember the times that I had with them and all of that, and it was heartbreaking. And after I'd already put them in there, the guy was getting his, getting the money to pay me, and he said, um, he said, this is, they're going to be, I had said something, I was like, this is not just a motion from the ducks, I'm upset, but not to the point of crying right now. This is, I told them what had happened with um, my cousin's mom passing away, and he said, you're fine, and then he had listened to what I had said, obviously, and, I mean, he was a sweet older man, 60 or 70 years old, and he, um, he said, don't worry about them. They're going to be going to a good home, I can guarantee you. And I said, well, thank you. <laughs> thank you for that. Um, he said they had a 10-acre pond and another black Cayuga drake, which is not preferred to drakes in a female, but I will let it slide because it's a 10-acre pond. <clears throat> and I have said from the very beginning that if I were to ever get rid of any of my ducks, that I would want them to go to a pond. Reason for that is because I have not been able to provide a pond. I, I can't do that here. They only have a kiddie pool. So, that's what they had to do, and it was... I'm excited that they're going there, and 
I talked to the guy and he was like, these are Cayugas? I said, yes, they're Cayugas. Um, and all of that. But the other Drake that's over there, he said, my wife has her duck, which is another black Cayuga. She goes out there every single, it's a lone duck. She goes out there every single morning, sits down on their pier or dock or whatever, and says, here, ducky, ducky, ducky. And he comes running across the pond or is already around her and jumps up on the dock and sits down with her and just gets loved on. And I, that was, I liked that. Um, I really like that because we need that <laughs> in our lives. We need a duck friend. Um, but I know they're gonna, they're at a good home. Um, I know they're at a good home, so I'm not worried about it. I don't have any regrets. Um, I still kind of feels like I gave up on them, but because I know that they went to such a good home, I, I can't complain about that. I, complaining about it doesn't seem right. It, no, complaining about it isn't right. And me saying that I'm not going to get rid of other ducks in the future doesn't seem right. Yeah, things are hard. You're going to have to make those hard decisions. And that's okay. And um, we just have to do it. And we're not going to want to. It's going to be incredibly hard <clears throat> to make those hard decisions. They're hard decisions for a reason. Sometimes those hard decisions, and most of the time, those hard decisions are the right decisions. Um, now, I guess you could justify by saying everything's a hard decision if you really break it down. Everything is a hard decision. But you can't look at it like that. You do what you can, but if you have to get rid of something, you have to do something. Like, if you go to an area that... I'm not going to break down a whole bunch of different things. But if you go to an area that has... Um... If you were at an area that was wooded and you bought land that um, wasn't, that wasn't, and it was ma mainly pasture, and you don't want to be feeding your goats a lot of grain, you wanted them to be browsing. Well, first off, they're not going to be able to browse because, I mean, they'll be able to browse, and just not as much. They'll eat pasture, but they're not, they don't thrive on it, I would say. Um, but they can. But that's not the point. <laughs> Um, things like that. I keep using examples like that, and I don't know why, but that's what it is. And I have to look at this hard decision as being one of, it's going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. We're all going to be okay. Um, I want to show you guys this too, because my mornings... that is a shot but so with five minutes left on this because I have not enough storage on my phone I need to delete videos I just waited for them to back up in Google Photos um, I had this idea last year and I did not follow through with it I had it and I never started it this year well next year um, in my garden and in my spaces because I feel such a strong present, the pre such a strong, strong presence f from the Lord. I won't put this back there, but because I feel such a strong presence from the Lord when I'm in the garden, it's where I feel closest to him. I've probably talked about it before. If not, I have now. <laughs> I don't feel him necessarily in a church. I feel him more when I'm outside, when I'm one on one with him instead of one in many. <laughs> when I'm in a group, I I just feel more connected one on one. And I that's no shame in that. I've come to terms with it. Other people can get upset with me. I have what I do works for me and I believe that I do have a good relationship with God um, from what I do um, I'm not saying it's perfect no relationship ever is perfect um, but 
It's because of me and my overthinking at times. Um, but what I wanted to do, and I did have this salt next year. I have three minutes left. Oh my gosh. Um, I wanted to honor those who had passed away. I know there are different ways of doing this. But I want to do it, and I don't know how it's going to look right now. Um, I don't know if I'm going to pick a day or whatever. I'll probably just pick a day of today, like, starting once we start getting harvests or seedlings planted or whatever. Say, this is dedicated, not dedicated, but this is in remembrance of whoever. So anything that we put up during that time, anything that we eat during that time, or that we pull out of the garden, it was in remembrance. I don't know exactly what that's gonna look like or anything, but that's what it's gonna be. Um, I don't know. I really, Again, I don't know how it's gonna look, but that's what I would like, because I do think that's really important for us to grasp or not to grasp, but to remember people who have passed on. And I would, I, I would like that. And I'm going to say, if y'all want, want to do that, I will do, um, I will try to get some sort of tag done for, um, next year. Or if you want to do this in future years, whatever. I'll get some sort of tag done on Instagram mainly, um, and I'll be sharing all of this more on Instagram later, so if you want to, you can follow me on Instagram, um, FarmerZach05, Farmer underscore Zach05, I'm pretty sure it's FarmerZach underscore 05, I don't know, FarmerZach05, I don't know where the underscore is, but the underscore is in there somewhere, there's a picture of me in black and white holding my, uh, chicken Clara, she has since moved on, um, to her. Uh, to the afterlife for her, um, up in chicken heaven, uh, watching over, um, got a whole flock of birds up there, um, but I would like to do something like that, um, and if other people want to join me in what I'm doing, go for it, um, I'm, I will be putting out more details, of course, of this, and I'll be doing videos, so if you just want to follow along in here, that's fine too, but Instagram's gonna be more up-to-date videos as of right now, but yeah, um, I just want to remember those people and I want other people to not feel like they have to do it because by no means am I saying you have to, but I'm saying if you want to, this space is open. I am giving you the permission to have one day of remembrance in your garden for each loved one, or if you just want to have a big day of remembrance and remember everybody in one day. That's not how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do days of remembrance, probably once every two weeks, of different people. Um, or if I know I'm going to be going out and getting a harvest, I'll do whenever. Um, but yeah, that's my plan. And posting pictures of them and on in the garden and just sitting out here praying and just remembering all the good times we had. Um, but yeah, so... A few seconds left, but thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have any questions, leave them below, 